Dear students, note down. In today's lecture, we will discuss type study of phylum Platyhelminthes. Dear students, type study of phylum Platyhelminthes, that is, liver flock, Fasciola hepatica. Note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please note down. First of all, we will discuss systematic position, classification of liver fluke, fasciola hepatica, kingdom, animalia, phylum, platyhelminthes. These are flat worms. The body is flat, leaf-like, dorsoventrally flat body, acylomate. Dear students, their body without any coelom. These are acylomates. Parenchyma, not down each and every point. Parenchyma, it is a special type of connective tissue. And that connective tissue, parenchyma, it is mesodermal in origin. And that parenchyma lies between the body wall and body organs. In complete gut, the elementary canal, the gut is incomplete. It means only one opening is present, no MS. Excretion, each and every point, very important. Excretion in these platyhelminths, flat worms, flukes, liver fluke, the excretion by special type of cells in which bundle of cilia and due to presence of bundle of cilia which present in their cavity lumen appears as a flame. These are flame cells. These are solenocytes. These are protonephridia. Dear students, these are flat worms. Body is dorsoventrally flat. Coelom absent. So these are acylomates. In their body, special type of connective tissue that is parenchyma. The gut is incomplete. And excretion by special type of flame cells, solenocytes, protonephridia. Class, that is trematoda. It means these worms, endoparasites, are commonly named flukes. Parasitic in habitat, endoparasite, spiny cuticle, their entanglement, their skin, possesses. Cuticular projections, spines for the fixation of body with the host. Presence of suckers. These are on their surface, anterior and posterior, two suckers are present. These are adhesive organs by which this parasite gets attached to host body. Unsegmented body. Dear students, from this diagram, very clear. The body remains unsegmented, flat body, leaf-like body, single ovary in the reproductive system. The gonads, the ovary, unpaired. Order. Order is dysenia. Dear students, note down dysenia. It means this endoparasite, it requires two hosts. The life cycle completes in two hosts. The life cycle is digenetic. Dear students, the life cycle is digenetic. And this endoparasite requires two hosts. One is primary host. The sheep and goats, these are generally primary host. While the snails, the mollusk, limnia, that is, a secondary intermediate host presence of posterior sucker not down this one is this is the posterior sucker strictly it is meant for fixation attachment it is adhesive organ by which this parasite gets attached to host surface single excretory power on this posterior region single excretory power no NS, not down. This is excretory power. It is nephridiopore. 
family and family is fascio lady dear students fascio lady it means spinules on integument on their outer surface on their body wall thus integument possesses the projections spinules genus it is fasciola the conical head lobe from this diagram very clear this anterior part having this conical projection it is fasciola due to presence of this apical head lobe oral lobe or it is this conical projection this head lobe it is cephalicon dear student it is present on anterior part this one is apical cone the species hepatica fasciola hepatica fasciola is named due to presence of on this anterior region a conical projection and it is species it is hepatica because it is a parasite of liver of vertebrate host now we will discuss some important characteristic features first of all habitat the animal is the fasciola hepatica is cosmopolitan as the animal is found everywhere but it is more common in wet areas because in these wet conditions it's secondary it's intermediate host that is a mollusk that is a snail like limnia or planorbis which is commonly found in wet conditions adult liver flock dear students it's adult form and that adult form is celozoic endoparasite celozoic endoparasite it means the adult liver fluke is found in large sized celomic ducts like bile ducts of liver commonly in the liver of sheep goats some other animals like horse like dogs like monkeys man elephant also habits habits feeding the fasciola the liver flocus it is hollow zoic in mode of nutrition its mode of feeding that is complete animal like it feeds upon the blood the lymph the bile and dear students the epithelial cells of bile ducts digestion is digestion takes place in the gut means outside the cell it is intercellular it is extracellular digestion inside the gut alimentary canal locomotion the animal is without any locomotory organelles no locomotory organs it shows only wriggling movements due to presence of muscular contraction respiration it is strictly anaerobic in mode of respiration because the animal lives in anaerobic conditions it respires anaerobically and the stored food the glycogen that gets that is broken into fatty acids co2 and metabolic energy atp reproduction very important very important the animal is bisexual dear students the animal is monoecious it is hermaphrodite both sex are united and in this animal not down competition students self as well as cross fertilization takes place fertilization self as well as cross and fertilization always internal and the female lays fertilized eggs zygote 
inside an egg capsule and in that egg capsule several yolk cells are also packed dear students fertilized egg yolk egg oh zygote that is present inside an egg capsule and in that egg capsule anterior part having an operculum and several yolk cells the egg is ectolacetal because the yolk is not present in the cytoplasm in the oophlasm of egg the yolk is present outside the egg and in their life cycle which is complicated that life cycle involves several larval forms these are miracidium larva sporocyst larva radia cercaria metacercaria in its life history five larval stages miracidium sporocyst radia cercaria metacercaria complicated larval stages are present this type of this type of development it is polyembryony it is delayed polyembryony dear students presence of several larval forms it means the development is indirect that involves several larval stages it is called larval multiplication and delayed polyembryony not down the larval form particularly the radia and the sporocyst they undergo parthenogenesis it means in radia and sporocyst the germ cells are present and the germ cells give rise another larva without any gametic fusion without any fusion of cells these larva undergo multiplication morphology morphology of this animal very clear the body is soft yellowish body and its anterior part having anterior sucker oral sucker because this sucker encloses mouth and this anterior sucker it involves it performs two functions it is an adhesive organ as well as it involves in feeding mouth is present and this posterior sucker this is named important point this posterior sucker lies ventrally it is present on ventral side of body also named ventral sucker posterior sucker or dear students it is acetabulum between this anterior and posterior suckers there is a common aperture and this common aperture it is genital aperture it is gonopore this oral sucker it involves in attachment fixation of body and feeding but this particularly acetabulum strictly meant for fixation attachment it is adhesive organ in this posterior act another aperture is there no doubt this is excretory pore no dynas dear students this is nephridio pore this is all about general introduction of liver fluke fasciola hepatica in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss its systems digestive system respiratory system